Okay, so what we're going to do is run through everything we need to add a new customer into Keycloak for use with the Federated Gateway. The prerequisite here is that you've got Keycloak on the internet, either exposed over an inlet tunnel with HTTPS or deployed in your Kubernetes cluster exposed with ingress. Okay, now I have it with an inlet tunnel. This is the URL. I'm going to click Administrative Console. I'm going to log in with the admin user I got when I installed this. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in the realm of OpenFAS. If you have not created this realm yet, go ahead and do that with the Create Realm button. Now I want to go over to Clients and create a new client. And I'm going to do this with every customer that I'm going to onboard. Same process. So in this case, my gateway, my federate gateway is exposed on the internet. You may have that over uh, an inlet tunnel. We just need a unique name here. I would suggest you use the DNS service name of the inlet tunnel perhaps. The name is not really important, but we could put this as well to identify the customer from the ID. Uh, and then we go next. We need client authentication because this is headless. There's no human being logging with Gmail here. This is a server to server authentication. And so we're going to click service accounts roles. Next, don't need anything on this page. Hit save. Right, next, we need to create a client scope. And this is unfortunate to work around uh, a changing key cloak that meant the audience claim isn't added to tokens properly. So we're going to Create a client scope, and the name of this is going to be audience dash client ID. You have to create one of these for every customer. Um, everything else on here looks fine. I'm just going to hit default as well. Save that. Now, this is important. We must go to mappers, configure a new mapper, audience as a type. Again, same deal. Audience dash client ID. And now we get to pick the client ID that we're going to have injected. This is what this mapper does. So that's the one. Make sure that it's right. We do need this to be added to access tokens because that's what we're using here to access the gateway. We hit save. Successfully created. Go back to the client. Open it up. Client scopes. We now need to add that custom client scope to the client. I hit add, I select it and make sure the name matches so you and have a few of these. Add default, it's now in there. That's all we need to do. Now, when it comes to configuring the Helm chart, we know the client ID already. Okay, um, what, we, what we're actually going to need is to set that in the audience field. The issuer is going to be this realm here. And in fact, I do have the realm somewhere. I have the realm somewhere else. It has to be formatted exactly right. So it's the base URL plus realms plus OpenFast. That's it. This is the only configuration required for the federated gateway. Then when you make a HTTPS request or you try to access the gateway over the inlet tunnel, uh, that is done by making a HTTP POST key cloak to obtain a token. The data that you need for that is the client ID and the client secret. The client secret is available under credentials. So Realm, OpenVAS, clients, credentials, client secret, we hit show, or we can just copy it, we come back to here, and we paste it in. Now, obviously, this is a video I've recorded on the internet, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to regenerate that, so I don't want that to be public. And we're effectively done then. And if, uh, if you need a hand integrating over the tunnel, obtaining the token, etc., just let us know. So that's the process, do it for every customer, um, and this will just work.